Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about Supergirl because I don't agree with Sasha Kelly being Supergirl at all. No, period. I really don't. But I think there is one thing we can make work that could work, that could possibly work for Supergirl. Possibly. Possibly work for Supergirl. I don't know if a lot of you know because, once again, of course, you know, I've read... I've read plenty of Supergirls and stuff like that, and I completely forgot. Well, I didn't really forget about this Supergirl, but now that I'm thinking about it, I was like, yes, this Supergirl could work. Supergirl Matrix. I know what you guys are thinking. Matrix? What the heck? You talking about the, the movie? No, I'm not talking about the movie. I'm talking about Matrix is a is an artificial protoplasm life form, and she comes from a parallel universe from un, unknown... Um, destination so basically she's a plasma morph so she's basically this purple liquid goo who can transform into anything and because of that because of that it gives her it gives her you know special abilities so basically she can she got super super strength invisibility and vulnerability super speed telekinesis flight and shape-shifting so what I'm thinking is that we can get Sasha Cali as Supergirl Matrix, where she comes from a pocket dimension trying to find Superman but runs into Flash. You get what I'm saying? Flash, you, you know, gets or Flash can run into her pocket um, dimension and this is her chance to explore the universe or something like that and go with Ezra Miller's Flash. This could work because then you she can be like, um, she can, you know, what? She always heard about the story of Superman and decided that she took she needed um, a physiology compared to Superman. So she morphed her body into uh, a form that would be suited for a character like her, which is Supergirl. She saw Superman and made a female version of her made a female version of herself and she becomes Supergirl. She can be Matrix. This could work because then you can bring in the the whole you know, shape-shifting kind of thing, why she looks so different from Supergirl or Superman, because she's really not a super, I mean, she's really not a Kryptonian. She is a, um, a plasma, um, uh, a protoplasma life form that was artificially created in a pocket universe, a version that was created through another version of Lex Luthor. You know what I'm saying? So you can open up stories with this character that you can bring in that way you can still have her as supergirl but show that she is not Kara zor she's not an alternate version of supergirl she is literally an artificial protoplasm who shape shift into a B, um a character and because she heard about superman she changed herself to resemble superman if that makes sense, or at least resemble the ideologue of Superman, which gives her, you know, the reason why she would look like super Supergirl anyway. I'm just saying it works better like that than to say that she's an alternate take of Kara zor or even an alternate Supergirl. Because like I said, again, read plenty of Supergirl. There's really not that many different ones, especially, you know, Hispanic latin women that have been supergirl but with this reasoning with matrix being a um, polymorph you can have the reason why she looks like this girl because she saw this girl she saw superman she took both their images and created a body for herself to become supergirl and then she was like you know my name is matrix but you can call me supergirl Bam! There goes your idea. That is how we do this character. This is how you can b be accurate to comic books, but also being able to be different enough where it doesn't disrespect fans by giving us bullcrap race change version of Supergirl. You gave us this um this artificial artificial protoplasma life form that can shape shift. And there goes your good reasoning for why Sasha Cali is Supergirl instead of actually getting a white person to actually play Kara Zor-El 
which you should have got in the first place. But I'm just saying, those are just that's just my opinion. I just think that you can do so much with this character anyway because she doesn't really do much. I mean, she does. She hasn't done anything in in years, to be honest. But what I'm saying is, at least. If you bring in this character, you can get a resurgence of Matrix anyway, because Matrix has been seen since she merged with Linda Linda Danvers, you know, the the alter ego of Supergirl in some occasions, which is the base model of Kara Danvers in Supergirl, you know, but that's a whole nother story with Matrix, because Matrix has a complicated history. I mean, Matrix and Supergirl all together has a complicated history. But what I'm saying is in order to, you know, quench the rage of fans who are fans, because I'm not going to be like some t some trolls or whatever and stuff like that, because I don't think anybody who cares about their characters and want to see them accurately depicted on screen, nothing is wrong with them. They are the fans. They're the ones who care more about these characters than the people who are saying, oh, it doesn't matter. It's just a character who cares or whatever. That shows that those aren't your real fans at all. They're just the ones that will watch your movie and that's it. They're not going to be buying your comic books or reading your stuff, having posters of that kind of stuff. They're not. I'm just going to be honest. But I was just thinking that this could work better. This works better. You have a good reason because now you can pull from this pocket dimension, which they really hasn't done much with. So you're allowed to use this pocket dimension Supergirl right here. Bring her into the Flash movie, which at this point, I don't even know why it's even called a Flash movie. It doesn't even seem like it'll be even revolving around Flash. Have this character as this Supergirl show off her powers and abilities in a way that'd be like, oh, okay, this isn't Kara Zor-El. Because, of course, with Bruce Wayne, Batman going to be there. He's going to be like, yeah, Clark told me about a cousin named Kara Zor-El, but you're not her. And then she can be like, oh, no, I'm not not cars or else. I'm Matrix. I'm coming from a pocket universe. Flash Flash had ran through whatever. I came with him to help him out. Bam. There goes some some kind of story. Some resemblance of why we can make this character work. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you think about Sasha Kelly more as Matrix than anything else than a, another alternate race change Supergirl. Now you have a good reason for it. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.